Welcome to the tutorial on Introduction to Free Plane. In this tutorial, we will install Free Plane 1.7.10 on Ubuntu Linux 16.04 OS and Windows 10 OS. Open a concept map. Learn about nodes and child nodes. Move and zoom the map on the canvas. Fold and unfold the nodes. And learn about the canvas and tool panel. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 16.04 OS, Firefox web browser 69, Windows 10 OS, Microsoft Edge 40 web browser, Freeplane 1.7.10 and a working internet connection to download Freeplane. To follow this tutorial, learner must have basic internet and computer skills. The files used in this tutorial are provided in the code files link. Please download and extract them. The download link for Freeplane is shown here. Open your default web browser to download the latest version of Freeplane. Go to the web address as seen on the screen. Click on the files tab seen on the bottom left side. Locate the Freeplane stable link and click on it. It contains files for the latest stable release and previous versions. Notice the installable files for various operating systems. When you practice this tutorial, the version number may likely be different. The archive folder contains files from the previous releases. Let's download and install Freeplane on Windows 10 OS. Windows users can click on this file link to download the exe file. A save dialog box prompting to save the file appears on the bottom. Click on the save button to download the installable file. Wait for the download to complete. Open the file manager and go to the downloads folder. Double click to open the downloaded exe file. Click on yes in the dialog box. In the select setup language dialog box, I will retain English and click on OK. Select I accept the agreement in the setup dialog box to highlight next. Click on next. I will retain the defaults in the next step and click on next. Click on install to install Freeplane. Uncheck the launch Freeplane checkbox. Click on Finish to complete the installation. Let's open the installed Freeplane software. Press the Windows key. Type Freeplane in the search form. Double click on the Freeplane icon. Now we have opened the installed Freeplane software. Now let's download and install Freeplane on Ubuntu Linux. 16.04 OS. The required file for Linux operating system is the deb file. Click on the file link. A save dialog box prompting to save the file appears as seen here. Choose the file save option and click on the OK button to download the file. Wait for the file download to complete. Let's install the software using terminal commands. Open a terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys together. A terminal opens. Let's change the directory to Downloads folder. Type the command as seen here to install Freeplane. 
press enter to execute the command. If prompted, type the sudo password to continue. Wait for the installation to complete. Let's open the installed Freeplane software. Press the Windows key on the keyboard. In the search form, type Freeplane. Double click on the Freeplane icon. For the very first time, a preloaded map may appear on the canvas. It may be different for you. Let's open the example map provided with this tutorial. I have saved this file on the desktop. To open a map, click on File and choose Open Saved Map. A dialog box opens. Navigate to Desktop and select the map1.mm file. Click on Open to open the map. Let's familiarize ourselves with a few features of the opened map. The white background is the canvas where we type our ideas. To move the map in the canvas, first left click and hold on the canvas. Depending on the OS, the cursor shows a palm sign or direction arrows. Then move the cursor on the canvas and position the map where you want it. Then release the left mouse button. To zoom the map, go to view zoom in the menu. Three options are available here. They are zoom in, zoom out and zoom to fit to page. Alternately, hold down the control key and use the mouse scroll wheel. Each node in the map represents an idea or concept. To select a node, click on it or hover the cursor on it. Then the node color gets highlighted to light cyan or blue. I will select natural resources by clicking on it. Our root concept or parent node for this map is natural resources. We know water, wind, air, soil and energy are natural resources. They branch as child nodes from the parent node. These five concepts are sibling nodes. They are connected by a line to their parent node. There is a small circle next to the water node. This indicates that there are child nodes to water. Child nodes are folded and not seen for clarity. Hover the mouse on the water node and notice a plus sign that appears. Click on this plus sign. Five child nodes for water appear on the screen. The plus sign changes to minus sign. This indicates fold or hide option on the node. These five sibling nodes are grandchildren of natural resources. Right click on the circles with plus or minus signs. Then more options to fold or unfold the nodes appear on the screen. This is similar to show or hide a node. Select the natural resources node. Click on Navigate, Fold and Fold All. We notice that only Parent, Child and Floating Nodes remain on the canvas. We now click on Navigate, Fold and Unfold All to show all nodes again. We notice nodes are color coded and formatted to stand out visually. They are classified and grouped according to characteristics or level. The concepts in air pollution are connected to the ones in energy. A link can be made between the contents of two nodes with a linking line. Text on the connecting line specifies the linking concept and brings rigor. We can attach learning resources to any node. Learning resources can be of many different kinds. Examples are plain or formatted text, notes, hyperlinks or images. Hyperlink can appear as a red arrow next to the node. 
This feature is useful for teaching and learning purpose. Multiple features can be added as attributes to any single node. An attribute is a name value pair of data that can be associated with a node. Use options under Edit and Node Properties tab to add node attributes. Now let's learn about node formatting options. Click on View and then on Controls. Check the box to show formatting panels as per your requirements. Click again to deselect and hide it from the screen. Click on the arrows at the extreme end of the window to show the panels. A large formatting palette appears on the screen. The icon toolbar is on the left and the tool panel is on the right. Icons can be added to the nodes to improve the visual presentation. To view the nodes that are out of view, zoom out and move the map. Adjust line color, style and width can also be formatted using tool panel. Having many toolbars open on the screen occupies the space on the screen. Click on the arrow again. To hide the panel. Click on File Save Map to save the map. Click on File Quit Free Plane to exit Free Plane. To summarize, in this tutorial, we installed Free Plane on Ubuntu Linux 16.04 OS and Windows 10 OS. Learned about Concept Map, Nodes, and Child Nodes. Moved and zoomed the map in the canvas. Folded and unfolded the notes and learned about the canvas and tool panel. For assignment activity, please do the following. Explore the free plane interface and menu options. Browse the user forum and the online help at this site. This video summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops and give certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. The spoken tutorial project will ensure an answer. You will have to register to ask questions. The Spoken Tutorial Forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use this discussion as instructional material. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRT, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.